Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're looking at a certain scientist and geologist and looking at how this person transformed our understanding of the Earth's crust, rock layers, bedding, strata, and this person is Nicholas Steno. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Neil Stenson was born in 1638 and died in 1686. He was Danish and a scientist and studied in Copenhagen and then traveled to Italy to Florence to study shark teeth. And there he started to undertake some amazing discoveries in the world of sedimentology and stratigraphy and is known as the father of stratigraphy. Nicholas Steno, as known in Italy, in Florence, worked with the Archbishop and was focusing on the shark teeth that were there to be analyzed. Now, these are called tongue stones, and these ancient shark teeth were considered to be there from different theories, different methods. Then came Steno, and his idea, his theory was that these teeth were actually of an ancient species and the teeth were deposited when the, sh when the species or shark died in the past and they were part of the rock because of that process. That was a revolutionary idea. And as he was doing this, he started to look at the rocks and look at the different formations. He basically spent years and he published work in 1669 about basically geology, the first real one, because previous knowledge and work in science was based on astronomy. People like Kepler and Copernicus and Brahe, and even before that in ancient Greece with Ptolemy and Aristotle and Galileo with a telescope and the Galilean moons. All that wasn't really focused on geology and the geology was really unknown and just a bunch of mysteries and myths that explain things. Then Steno came around and actually added legitimate scientific principles, laws, and theories to geology, and that's why he is known as the father of stratigraphy. Now, he defined what a rock strata is, a rock layer is, which was the first time anyone's done that, which is also very radical and unpopular with the church at the time because the church was suggesting and saying that the earth is very young, and based on the Bible teachings, Steno came around and said, no, it must be older because of these processes that I'm IDing. So it looked at the original horizontality, which basically means the rock layer was deposited in a horizontal position or layered because of gravity initially. And then you have the age of the rock, the relative age, which is superposition. The top or the youngest rock is closest to the surface and the one as you go deeper the relative age of the rock will increase and become older. Then you have lateral continuity. Basically means that across the whole layer or strata of rock, it's the same rock, the same composition, the same minerals, the same elements. And let's say it's all sandstone or limestone or breccia or shale. It's continuous. Then you have the relative age of a cross-cutting relationship between an intrusion going through the rock layers and figuring out which one is younger, which one's older. He looked at orogeny in mountain buildings basically being a consequence of crustal movement and crustal change over time and looked at basic crystallography and crystals and mineral shapes and all these advances. And this again proves why he is known as the father of stratigraphy. So from being invited into Florence, Italy from Denmark to look at shark teeth, he then published this revolutionary idea and theories and laws on geology, sediment accumulation, sedimentology, and obviously stratigraphy and laid the basis for modern geology going forward. So Steno was influential in his work on stratigraphy, allowing scientists to go to an environment and look at the strata of the sedimentary rocks and then work backwards and use the laws to figure out the formation and also the previous environments that may have occurred or existed in this area over Earth's history. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and maybe hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.